In today's video, I'm gonna show you the difference between 2K clear, 2X clear, and no clear. Let's go ahead and get started. What's going on everyone? Welcome to More Motorsports YouTube channel. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. My name is James, and today I'm gonna show you the difference between the 2X gloss clear and the 2K. A lot of people actually confuse the two, and I wanted to clear the air on that, so I decided to prime this valve cover uh, black primer from this Rust-Oleum Sandable Primer. Really good stuff, nice smooth finish. Uh, and then I'm going to be using VHT's Burnt Copper. This is the same color I did on my Green Civics engine bay. Uh, it looks beautiful, and I decided I want to see what it looks like with 2K clear and a 2X clear over it. Now there is a difference between the 2K and the 2X. This one actually has a hardener, where this one does not. This one is also about four or five dollars, something like that. And this can's about 20, 15 to 20. I'll put a link in the description where you can get this. It's really good stuff. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and paint this burnt copper with the VHT paint. We're going to, after it's dry, we're gonna do two coats of the burnt copper. Um, but after it's dry, we're gonna put a tape line right in the middle to separate um, this side will be like the 2k clear and this will be the 2x and the tape line will be nothing no clear and we'll let it harden up and then I will show you the difference between them the glossness and um, other things like that so I'm gonna go ahead and take you over to my painting area and we'll get started okay so before we get started I just wanted to tell you I used these 20 by 20 by 1 filters on the back of a box fan to pull the fumes out um, so that way we can get the fumes out of here. Now the normal spray paint, not so big of a deal. Um, the fumes aren't too harsh. Now you will need a respirator either way, be in a well ventilated area if possible. Um, but when you get to the 2K, that stuff is pretty strong and very dangerous stuff. So you'll wanna make sure that that is definitely um, filtered out and that you have plenty of airflow in wherever you're painting. Now, just a little tip I wanted to give you. Okay, I'm going to be using my Paint Mixer 3000. I made this in another video. Link will be in the description if you want to make one of your own. I'm basically just going to mix it up and putting it in here and turning it on. Should be mixed up pretty good now. I'm going to go ahead and lay this on kind of, kind of thicker but also a light coat. Um, and we'll let that dry about 5 or 10 minutes. We'll hit it again and then we'll let that dry to hit the 2K clear over the top. So let's go. All right, so there's the first coat done. Um, as I said, I made, laid it kind of thick, but I didn't go too thick that it would run. Also, the garage temperature right now is about 65 to 70 degrees. Um, any colder than that, you have a potential of running a little easier. And any hotter than about 75, um, it just dries too fast, and that's how you usually get lines. On smaller panels and pieces like this, it's not as big of a deal um, in the hotter temperatures, but on a larger panel in a hotter temperature, you'll definitely run into stripes. We're gonna go ahead and let this dry for about five to 10 minutes. Then we're gonna go ahead and shoot another coat over that, allow that to dry, and then shoot the 2K and the 2X. All right, we're gonna let this dry overnight. I don't know the exact hours or time it takes before we can put tape on it. Sometimes I've done two hours and it was fine. 
um, and other times I've done two hours and it wasn't fine. So we're just gonna be safe, let it sit overnight, then we'll come back tomorrow, put the tape down the middle, and do the 2K on the left, and then the 2X on the right. So now we're just gonna have to wait. Okay, it's been drying overnight, so now we're ready to apply the tape to separate. The 2X clear will be shot on this side, and the 2K clear will be shot on this side. Um, you will have to activate the hardener. It's really simple to do. Just take this little red plug out, put it right here on the bottom, and you'll just give it a really good squeeze until it pops. What I like to do is I like to push it multiple times after it does pop, and then you wanna shake it up for about two minutes. We're gonna be using the paint mixer, um, so it'll go a little bit quicker, but we're gonna go ahead and shake both of these up. It's really good to warm both cans up prior to use. Uh, you can do that by placing them in some hot water and letting them sit for about five to 10 minutes. Let it absorb all that heat into it. It sprays so much better when you do that. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get both of these uh, shaken up and ready to spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down just like that. So this side does not get sprayed. And that's how we're gonna go ahead and spray it. Wear respirator and uh, here we go. dry for about five minutes uh, and then we're gonna come back and hit it again with a second coat that's basically like the first wet coat uh, it's more of a tack coat I usually go a little bit glossier and thicker on it but I'm gonna go ahead and do this uh, with a lighter coat which that's what that is uh, that's light to me that may not be light to some others uh, but this is just how I shoot it so I'm gonna let that dry for a minute and come back okay now that we let it dry for about five minutes, we're gonna go ahead and do the second coat of the 2X Gloss Clear. Second coat of the gloss clear is done. We're gonna let that dry up uh, for probably about 10, 15 minutes. Then we're going to flip this on the other side and do the other side with the 2K clear. Okay, so this has been drying for a little while now. Uh, it's dry to the touch, so we don't have to worry about any of that um, being an issue. You can definitely see a difference between the uh, uncleared side and the 2X cleared. Uh, the 2X does offer some level of shine, but uh, we are going to actually make this line just a little bit bigger so that when we do the 2K, um, you can definitely see the difference between protected and unprotected areas, and it'll be a more noticeable line. So I'm going to go ahead and add one more tape line. All right, that should be a pretty decent line there. So now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and lay this over this side. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and spray the 2K clear on this side. Okay, that is the first coat of the 2K clear. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and let that dry. Since this has a hardener in it, this will actually dry a little bit quicker. But we're still gonna wait about five minutes and then add the second coat.
that dry for probably about an hour or two, and then we'll come back to it. I'm gonna go ahead and store what's left of this in the freezer. Okay, I've been letting it dry for about five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and take the tape off and then uh, we'll wait the rest of this out. Okay, so it's been right at about two hours. Um, the Spray Max 2K Clear, definitely a high gloss finish. Just the VHT with no clear, nice and flat. And then this gloss clear here has more of a satin finish to it and it's not as glossy as you can see directly over this definitely has a nice reflection and I know there's gonna be skeptics saying it's not dry but it is indeed dry on all of it um, there is some junk that got in here because the wind's blowing pretty hard and the garage door was cracked open to you know allow fumes out so there's junk in there that can easily be wet sanded with a 1200 grit and then buffed to a nice polish uh, you can add more coats wet sand add more coats and then buff but it still doesn't come out to look this good um, I've tried many times to do it with this stuff the 2x clear and it never comes out as glossy as the 2k um, but I'm gonna take it out in the Sun and I'm gonna show you what it looks like the depth of the 2k clear versus the um, 2x and without so I'm gonna go out in the Sun real quick and show you so as you could see the 2k definitely has a deeper gloss and more depth to the paint um, as we're obviously no clear no clear still looks good in my opinion, because I like a satin, somewhat flat look. Uh, gloss obviously looks really well, and it works good with this Duplicolor. Um, and this 2X from Rust-Oleum is definitely not, I'm not a fan of it. I've never really liked it. I've tried to use it a lot in the past. I either get wrinkling that occurs, uh, where the paint starts wrinkling up, which looks like it might have started happening. Let me see if I can bring that in right there it looks like it started to wrinkle i don't know why it does that it does that though um, i haven't had that problem with the 2k from spray max on any of the paints i've done yet uh, but i have had it with the 2x before uh, quite often actually but uh has a really nice deep gloss to it i was gonna go ahead and actually use the brake parts cleaner which actually has uh, it contains acetone and I was gonna spray it but I don't think it's been long enough to give a proper test on that um, probably let it dry for a couple days maybe come back and try it and do a video we'll see what happens um, but you can definitely see why I prefer the spray max 2k clear now you can get this same exact gloss if not better um, with speedo coats 2k clear I think it's like 50 to 60 bucks maybe for their clear glamour uh, really good paint you have to use it out of a spray gun so I recommend having water separators a at least 30 gallon uh, tank but not everyone can get that stuff not everyone has a garage and I understand that I have not had a garage for many years um, I have one now yes but I I went a long time without it so this stuff here was my favorite go-to now you can do a whole car with this it would probably take eight to ten cans minimum if you want two coats um, I like to lay my coats really thick it works well for me It wet sands and buffs perfectly fine but I just figured I would do this test because there has been a lot of confusion on the 2k versus the 2x so now you know the difference this stuff not as good not as glossy it'll work in a pinch but as you can see it actually made the paint look worse in my opinion than if you just didn't clear it so sometimes no 2x is better than paint with 2x uh, i always recommend the 2k even though it is more expensive you can find bundles on ebay and amazon where you can get six of these for a way cheaper than 20 dollars price um, i'll try to put some links in the description so you guys can find those um, i usually go and find them for you guys put the links below and they are affiliate links so i do get a very very small portion of some of the money spent on the products so uh, if you guys are curious links will be in the description 
And I hope this video kind of cleared the air on the 2X versus 2K. But thanks for stopping by. If you haven't already, please hit the like button, drop a comment below, subscribe to the channel, turn the bell icon on to get notified of every upload. Um, I'm trying to get more videos out soon, so definitely stay tuned. Um, I was going to put some of this 2K clear over the supercharger, because right now it's just the Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear enamel, which is better than the 2X, but I did want to do this video with the 2X and 2K, just to clear the air. Um, but I think I like how it looks exactly like this, so if you didn't watch my supercharger video, definitely go do that and check out my uh, Paint Mixer 3000 video, so you can see how to make a cool little paint mixer. But you can put this stuff in the freezer, like I said, um, that way you can prolong its life and just warm it back up when you need it. So. I'm going to go ahead and get off here. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you guys in the next one. And as I like to say, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.